Hey everyone, I wanted to give a quick review on the Ego Z6 42 inch mower model. Um, so I have just about three acres of grass to cut. I have a little over three acres, but you know, between the uh, driveway that kind of goes through and meanders around, you know, all this grass section here, all the way back out to that red truck out there um, behind the barn. The only section I didn't cut yet is the garden section here, basically because it's a bunch of weeds and we're trying to reclaim that to build my wife's garden. And then a big section that go, runs behind the barn. So overall, um, this Ego Z6, I have 13% battery left. Um, and my mowing settings, I actually put it on are one for the blade speed and full speed for movement there on the left. So it did come with four 10 amp hour batteries, um, which are the top four here. So these are the 10 amp hour batteries for 40 amp hours total. And then I have two of the seven and a half amp hour batteries for an additional 15 um, that came with my Ego two stage snowblower. So in total, I have about 55 amp hours of battery life. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was able to cut the entire you know three acres of grass or so on one charge leaving 13 percent back and yeah i mean I, that 13 percent would be enough if i were going to cut my wife's garden area in there um so yeah i mean really impressed with the overall machine uh this does have two blades after i bought this one they came out with a 52 inch model that has three blades and i believe comes with six 12 amp hour batteries so if my math's right, I believe that's around two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 72 amp hours. So a good bit more than this. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the cut quality has been fantastic. Um, really impressed with the power and, and how long it lasts. Um, we moved in here um, in the winter time. It was an estate sale, the prior owner had passed away and um, the property really hasn't been taken care of all that well. Um, so, you know, we've been trying to do our best. We've been trying to reclaim some of this. It was all overgrown like this. We, you know, put some mulch down and planted some perennials. Um, and we don't have any agri um, irrigation yet, so no sprinklers. Um, and, you know, I've been cutting the grass pretty high. There's some settings here for how high um, you can cut. Um, it goes in one third inch increments. So I've been cutting it on three and a third, if you can see there. Um, they advertise it as cutting two acres, which is with the four amp hour or four 10 amp hour batteries it comes with. Um, and yeah, with the additional 15, um, I was able to honestly get through the whole thing of, you know, basically three acres of grass to cut once you take out the driveway, house, and barn area. Um, it's really quiet while you're going. So I'll give you a, a quick rundown of that. Um, this will engage the blades. So I don't know if you can hear that right on the camera or not, but I mean, I can have a conversation with someone without speaking too loudly. Um, I'll take it off the foot brake here. And yeah, I mean, it just kind of goes zero turn. Um, I'll give you a quick little tour of all the area that I have cut. Let me turn off the deck as well. So yeah, I mean, a lot of grass to cut. The only con I'd say is really just how loud this mower deck is. It does rattle a bit. Um, and when you don't have the blades on, it kind of whines. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've cut this whole area all here, all the way here, all the way back to the corners. Um, you know, I was, I was careful to try to get as much coverage around the trees that I could. Um, you know, I do have a lot of, you know, trees that we've been taking down and debris have been moving. Um, and I've been cutting, you know, all the way past that down tree into the corners, really getting the edges of the property as much as possible um, to really just cut down on the time that I need to spend weed whacking and blowing. Um, as you can see, it goes pretty fast and full speed when you have it going all the way. Um, looks like we got a little groundhog buddy. We've been fighting with him in my wife's garden area. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully this gives you a good sense of exactly how much we actually have to cut around here. 
and how much you can go on one charge. So, you know, as I mentioned, all this section it has been cut, you know, going all the way along the edges, all the way out to the front section here. this section I've even honestly been cutting <laughs> the driveway back by the barn since it's just really weeds at this point um, yeah you know cutting this section I have over here is probably honestly you know somebody's lawn that is the size of maybe somebody's like one acre house probably so here's some more grass that I've cut um, again, you know, this is a pretty good size front lawn area. And like I said, it's probably about the area of um, somebody who has like, you know, a, a half acre, um, you know, backyard, front yard, or, you know, one acre and maybe the front and back lots, um, at least coverage wise. So it's pretty, it's pretty large. I'm on a corner property. Um, you know, there's even a strip out by the street that's pretty lengthy that runs the entire strip of the, strip of the property all the way back down to the corner that I was able to cut. Um, and yeah, I mean, overall, really impressed with the cut quality and um, runtime. Apologies for the background noise. I'm just trying to give everybody a good sense of the cutting area that you can get. Again, all this section here was cut. Um, I did not cut in here. Um, but like I said, with the remaining battery life, um, I definitely would have been able to finish cutting in here. Uh, there's just, you know, we got some hoses in there. I've been trying to build my wife some more raised beds. Um, and yeah, I'm very impressed with the overall Edo Z6. I wasn't really sure about, you know, electric and run times, but here it is on, again, you know, three acres of property. Um, and grass to cut, and it's done a phenomenal job overall. Um, I'll take you back and show you some of the other Ego tools that I have as well. So here's some of the other Ego equipment that I have. Um, as I mentioned, we moved in the winter time. Um, I got the Ego uh, two-stage snowblower. That's also been fantastic. That came with the two seven and a half amp hour batteries that I'm using in the uh, lawnmower over there. Um, you know, I did get some aftermarket skids to raise it so that I wasn't, you know, chewing up all the rocks and everything. And the performance on that with the seven and a half amp hour batteries. On a light snowfall, I'm able to get, you know, this driveway path from rock section to rock section out through here and all the way out to the corner um, on one charge if I have it in the lowest eco setting. Um, what's really good and, and what I've noticed with these tools is you really got to leave it on eco to get good coverage. And they kind of self-modulate, um, you know, how much power they need to throw the snow or cut the grass to prevent stalling. Um, so I kind of leave it in eco and, and let it throttle up as needed. Um, because if you, you know, throw this into turbo, um, you know, I might just get two passes <laughs> across my entire driveway. So like I said, on the light snowfall with the seven and a half amp hour batteries, um, I'm able to get basically the whole thing out. Now, you know, I'm not able to clear really nice around these sections. Um, or if I have, you know, um, a lot of snow um, out on the street, you know, that may take a couple of passes to get through. Um, on the heaviest snowfall, I think we got, you know, 20 inches or so dumped overnight, um, 16 to 20 inches between some drifts. And um, in that situation, I really only had enough power with the two seven and a half amp hour batteries to really just clear one section out from the garage um, to the street just to get my wife out to work. And then um, at the time I didn't have the ego yet and the extra battery. So I threw them back on the charger and then I had enough to, um, go out this leg. And then I actually needed to charge a third time to just, you know, clear this up nicely for parking. If people came over or 
you know, just to help navigating between the barn and everything a little bit nicer. Um, now that I have the Ego Z6, I can basically snow blow indefinitely, um, you know, because I have um, three pairs of batteries to use. So while I'm using one, the others, you know, are fully charged. And then as I use the first pair, I throw them back on the charger and using the second, third pair before I need to, uh, you know, by the time I get through the third pair, the, the first pair is kind of done charging at that point. Um, some of the other Ego tools that I bought is basically the whole suite. So um, here I have the Ego multi-tool. Um, Right now I have the head trimmer attachment on it. Right next to it is the weed whacker. Um, this is the pole saw chainsaw, uh, the edger attachment, and the multi bristle brush. Um, I also have the auger attachment back here, which I haven't actually used yet because we do have a you know, cheap Sun Joe electric mower, or sorry, cultivator that we've been using. Um, it's been getting the job done and, and you know, getting, getting that all dinged up in the garden area and the rocks. Um, I also bought the backpack link. Um, so the backpack link allows you to put the heavier batteries and carry that weight in your back and just have a light, you know, kind of attachment for the multi-tool. Um, next to it is the 765 CFM leaf blower, which is fantastic. Um, you know, can't say enough about that. Um, and somewhere here, I also have the 18-inch uh, um, chainsaw, which as you can see, it's been <laughs> really pulling its weight between, you know, all the trees that I've cut down back there, some pretty big trees laying down, um, you know, all these stumps and everything over here um, between some trees that have fallen down and other ones that we've taken down because they were dead and not doing so well. So um, really have the entire suite overall really impressed with the overall, you know, Ego brand. Haven't really had a single problem. I think I have close to 100 hours on the Ego Z6. Um, the only attachment I, I actually probably would not buy again um, if I had to redo it is the bristle brush. Um, it, it's really heavy, kind of unwieldy, and doesn't really work the way that I thought it would. Um, so, you know, let me know other people's thoughts, but I genuinely kind of, you know, used it once or twice and kind of put it back up there and haven't used it again. <laughs> um, but everything else is, is fantastic. Um, really can't complain at all. Um, and I'll show you really quick just the charging on the Ego Z6. So on the mower itself, um, it does have a charging port here on the side. Um, so it's kind of, you know, EV-like. Um, and it comes with, it's actually in the barn area. So it comes with the um, charger that will, you know, you plug it in, it can charge all six batteries at the same time. So again i just kind of threw it here until i formally mount it but it goes into a standard outlet um and then this just hooks into the ego z6 um you plug that in with my 55 amp hours of battery um it takes about an hour for it to come back to 50 percent and then within two hours um it's fully charged um one other thing i guess i can show you is i, I bought one of these gorilla carts which has been instrumental in you know, helping to get the dirt filled for the raised beds and just carrying stuff back and forth for the uh, the garden beds between the cedar planks and the cement blocks. Um, and so it has, you know, a, a little handle up here. So this you could just put into the back of the hitch on the Z6 and you can pull it around. Um, if I take out that pin and swing the handle around, that's, you know, to pull it by hand. Um, and yeah, I'll just show you the hitch really quick on the back of the Z6. Uh, but that's been great, you know, while you're not using the lawnmower blades, the battery runtime is fantastic. Um, you know, I was just driving all around the entire property and we're still at 13%. Um, and yeah, it just really hooks onto the back of the hitch here. As you can tell, I've not really, <laughs> you know, been super careful with this. I really throw it into kind of anything. When we first moved in, you know, everything was overgrown. There was probably two foot high grass and this just powered right through it. Um, maybe I'll give you an example with the blades turned all the way up. It's, it's very powerful. Um, so again, this is the lowest setting. So, I mean, even ramped all the way up, it's still fairly quiet, but it does sound much more like a conventional mower, um, at least with the blades, you know, spinning around. Um, there is a wash port, which is nice. So, you know, after this, I'll leaf blow this off and then um, you just connect a hose to the wash port. It comes with a little, uh, little nozzle here that you, 
screw this onto your hose and then this just pops right on like so um, and you got the wash port to clean the deck and you know help the longevity um, yeah I mean any questions leave them down below but overall I've, I've basically been sold on this I know for the smaller lawn tools I really didn't want to um, you know deal with the, the small engine cleaning out the carbs or you know belts and maintenance this is literally zero maintenance you just plug it in <laughs> um, in the winter time I bring the batteries inside although the garage is insulated um, you know just to prolong their life um, but yeah literally zero maintenance aside from changing the mower blades which honestly could be changed because you know we're now in summer um, and, and those are still the original blades. And like I said, they've seen some abuse between, you know, hitting some heavy rocks just being uncovered. You know, there's a ton of debris out here. Um, and really, you know, taking down two, two foot tall plus, you know, grass and weeds. Um, and really just using it almost like a bush hog and it really just powered through it all. Um, now in that scenario, um, obviously the runtime wasn't as great. I needed to charge up a couple of times because, you know, once you throw those um, blades into the top speed, um, it really kind of chews down the battery life where, you know, I may only be able to get a third of the way through with the blades on, on full speed. Um, yeah, but I, this is the first time I've been able to cut the whole thing in one charge. Um, typically I have a tiny strip left and, you know, I'll recharge for half an hour just to then cut my wife's garden area and then um, the remaining left. Um, and the main change is really just bumping the speed up all the way so that when I have straightaways, I can kind of go full speed and really just, again, trusting the mower to handle the, uh, the speed as needed um, and, and leaving it in one is really the key and it'll bump up, you know, as needed as you hit a thick patch or, um, you know, needing some extra juice to really cut through the grass. So, you know, with that, like I said, let me know if any questions. I do have the mulcher attachment on this um so you know that also will cut down the battery life versus the uh side shoot which i think i have up on the shelf somewhere over there um but yeah really impressed so if i can do it on you know three acres i'm sure anyone can really do it um and like i said let me know if there's any questions um it does have some lights so the, the lights that were on earlier are just kind of the daytime running lights once you hit the light switch it does come on a bit brighter um, down below. Um, I think those are the daytime running lights and then the top ones turn on the bottom ones get brighter There's some on either side here on the front to kind of get the ambient coverage out here And then there's some also on the back, which is nice. So, you know, sometimes um, Especially if I you know have to recharge I'll go and use my smaller batteries that came with some of the other tools to you know weed whack or hedge trim or blow and then when I want to finish, you know if it's getting late like this and it's dusk um, the lights are nice to be able to you know just finish up um, for the day so that you don't have to you know spend a second day cutting the grass so yeah like i said um this video went a little bit longer than i expected but hopefully it helped to answer some of your questions or what some of you may have been wondering about the ego z6 and uh some of the other products that they have so um like i said leave any comments i'm happy to help answer them and i'll be sure to keep you guys updated like i said i've had it for 100 hours but I'll continue to update you guys if I come across any issues or, you know, if, if all, <laughs> if no news is good news, I'll provide an update video as well. All right. Till the next time. See ya.